So what's the big deal with Embedded Coder this year? Well, it's a major release. After seven years and thousands of features, it's time for another major. The last one was an 11A. And at that time, we were maturing the coder to be really good for microcontrollers. We added support for pill with profiling, for example. But the really amazing thing is that Embedded Coder at that time was already fairly well proven in production. You can see we had about 70 user stories. We were on 8-bit microcontrollers. We were certified to DO178B, savings millions of dollars, and over a million lines of code were being generated by some of our customers. But that's really not why we went major. We did that because MATLAB Coder was introduced and brought a whole new world of code generation technology. You could generate code from your common filter in MATLAB. You could um, bring that MATLAB code into Simulink for model-based design. So it was a really big uh, change for us, and we added uh, signal processing to our production portfolio. So now today, MATLAB Coder is generally proven. We got plenty of user stories. We can have radar team generate code in under a millisecond. Uh, we have sensor fusion algorithms in hundreds of thousands of uh, systems. And they can use model-based design with the MATLAB function block. And we have fixed point code on Cortex-M processors. So in 18A, we're going major for MATLAB coder and embedded coder. Embedded coder will have uh, a code uh, view or perspective and a coder dictionary that will make it very easy to add implementation details while steering at your Simulink model. No more head bobs back and forth to figure out what your changes will do with respect to your algorithms. MATLAB coder will support row major uh, matrix format instead of column major and it will support ND dimensions instead of 1D. Okay, so it's a really major release for both those products. But um, the main reason we're going major is the uh, addition of yet another uh, coder, which is GPU coder to the coder family. We can now generate CUDA for uh, deep learning uh, algorithms like uh, you would use maybe in uh, autonomous uh, driving. And you can see that our code performs very well with respect to deep learning frameworks. So now GPU coder is proving it can accelerate deep learning and artificial intelligence. So now we've really rounded out our coder portfolio and have a very nice family of co C coders that are all sharing a common engine. So an enhancement uh, to, to one, like the parallelization of GPU coder, is benefiting the other coders and vice versa. And we need this. The software is exploding. Uh, that one million lines of code uh, seven years ago is nothing compared to a luxury vehicle today, okay? And guess what? Industry experts are saying when you go to automated driving, that's gonna be a drop in the ocean. So we really are not that far away, I think, seven years from now to a billion lines of code in these systems. Okay. So yeah, we can keep adding coders, but at some point, you gotta realize model-based design is based on the model. And that's why I'm really excited, okay? Because Simulink is now service-oriented. Simulink can handle um, client-server architectures. It's got pluggable components with Simulink functions. It's using the techniques that IT has used for many years for their large-scale systems. So what's the big deal about Embedded Coder in 18A? It's that Embedded Coder is working hand-in-hand -hand with services-oriented Simulink to generate true C++ and flexible, pluggable components for adaptive middleware like AutoZar. Potentially, it can now generate billions of lines of code while leveraging its core 
hard, production hard and optimization certifications and workflows. So that's a great future. Thank you very much.